Hi, Kern Talks friends. I wanted to do something for Valentine's for you, so I decided to read a poem and post it online. Yeah, I prefer chocolate too, but you get a poem. <laughs> anyway, a credit for the poem uh, goes to slam poet Shane Koizan, who is brilliant. I've also shared a coupon code for 40% off the ticket price for the next Kern Talks event, which will A, happen on March 25th, so mark your calendars, and B, cost about the same, maybe a little less than a movie date but will be a far more interesting and memorable outing for you and your loved one. And here's my reading of Shane's poem. What do you think? Should Shane make a future appearance at a Current Talks event? Remember how we forgot? Remember how no one ever really died in the wars we fought? Because each gunshot came from our fingertips, and we never really kept them loaded, just in case. Because each enemy was a friend, and none of it was about oil, politics, or land. It was all just pretend. Remember how we used to bend reality? Like we were circus strongmen. Like our imaginations were in shape then. Like we were all ninjas, trained in the deadly art of did not. Like, I totally got you. Did not. Remember how we forgot? Remember how we used to find any old reason just to call someone we were crushing on? Like we could just pawn off our sense of embarrassment Buy a chunk of courage that would last long enough to have us asking him about math and stuff, and how stuff was just stuff. Like, I heard you're getting braces. And how braces somehow were, and still are, kind of hot. Remember how we forgot? Remember how we all caught mono, and our folks would go, oh, the kissing disease. And our first steps into gangsterhood had us saying, mother please. Even though we never really kissed anyone, even though we never did half the things we said we'd done. We spun yarn like Rumpelstiltskin spun gold. We told ghost stories, never realizing we would one day ourselves become ghosts, haunting the hallways of schools, breaking all the rules of silence in the library. But we had no chains to rattle, no voice to battle the fact that we had no vocal cords. We had only fingernails on chalkboards. We would scream, shout, and yell, trying to tell ourselves what experience can teach is what no teacher taught. Remember how we forgot? Once upon a time, we were young. Our dreams hung like apples waiting to be picked and peeled, and hope was something needing to be reeled in, so we can fill the always empty big fish bin with the one that got away, and proudly say that this time, impossible is not an option, because success is so akin to effort and opportunity, they could be related. So we took chances. We figure skated on thin ice. Believe that each slice of life was served with something sweet on the side. And failure was never really as important as the fact that we tried. That in the war against frailty and limitation, we supplied the determination it takes to make ideas and goals the parents of possibility. And we believe ourselves to be members of this family, not just one branch on one tree, but a forest whose roots make up a dynasty. So when I call you sis or bro, it's not lightly. And when I ask you to remember, it's because the future isn't what it used to be. So remember now. Pay tribute to every sacrifice laid upon the altar of somehow. For all the times, somehow we overcame. Somehow we pushed on. Somehow we've gone the distance. And in going there, we possess the freedom to map the uncharted lands of any and everywhere. We are unbound. Six feet above the underground, where we will all one day rest. So until then, Test the limits, test the boundaries and borders, as if the headquarters of potential lay just beyond the world's edge. Let the belief that hope belongs to us all be the pledge you take to make the unachievable as inconceivable as the false fact that we were never here. We were here, and our memories are as dear to us as every slow motion moment or held breath. So remember, Every instance before death, every first kiss, first dance, near miss, last chance, yes, no, maybe so. Let us go the distance once more. Let us remember all the moments that were and were not. Like the point is something we can get and what we can get is what we got. Because all we have are the times between the moments we connect each dot. So live and remember, burn like an ember capable of starting fires. Like each moment inspires the next. Like memories are the context we put ourselves in so that life becomes the next of kin we need to notify in case of a big bang or extinction level event. Let now 
be our advent. Let us live like we meant it. Let us burn like we mean it. Because this world doesn't give a care if we end up in a train wreck or a car crash. If our story ends with a dot or a dash, if we were dust or ash, because all we were is all we'll be, and all we are is the in-between of so far so good, so forget every would, could, or should not, forget remembering how we forgot. Live like a plot twist exists now and in memory, because we burn bright. Our lives leave scars on the sun. Let no one say we were undone by time's passing. The memories we are amassing will stand as a testament that somehow we bent minds around the concept that we see others within ourselves, that self-knowledge can't be found on bookshelves. So who we are has no bearing on how we appear. Look directly into every mirror. Realize our reflection is the first sentence to a story. And our story starts, we were here. So, if you're still listening to this, I'm impressed. That was Shane Koizan's Remember How We Forgot. The coupon code for this Valentine's Day weekend sale is Love Talks. All one word. Thank you again for your loyalty and your support of Current Talks. With your help, I think our little get-togethers will really inspire in a surprising, entertaining, and meaningful way. See you on March 25th.